Welcome back Wolfpack, Verlis here, and this is how to use Persian. So Persian is actually a lot like Dugtrio in that it has no defenses, low attack, but a really good speed that you can make use of. And also it does have a large move pool, so we'll get into that in a bit. Looking at Persian's typing, it's just a pure normal type, which is a really, really balanced typing. I've talked about normal types before, but it's just hilarious how you have one weakness, one immunity, and that's it. And then the rest is normal hits. And if it was on a tanky Pokemon, it's amazing. But Persian doesn't really have the durability to make too much use of it. So right now you can just stare and look at how normal the normalness is. Hopping over into Pokemon Showdown, there's not really too many standard ways of running Persian. You have the ability technician, which does boost anything with 60 base power or less, which means your fake out is going to get stabbed and then it's going to get a nice little boost but still not an insane amount. After that, you can use Life Orb, so your Fake Out is going to have a good punch, and you do have some good speed to follow it up, even though you don't have a lot of attack. So on top of that, you know, with the looking at the stats, you have pretty nice speed, 115, pretty fast. With the new generation, there are a lot of Pokemon that outspeed it, but still in a very good speed class for a lot of Pokemon. Its attack doesn't get that high at all, so it needs, it needs everything it can get from that Life Orb. Uh, looking at its move pool, it does have a really strong move pool as well. Play rough. F return. Return's going to get stab on that max 102 power. With the life orb boost, you can do some damage and maybe have some good fake out return KO potential. You also have play rough for coverage. You have taunt to shut down any setup because you could use this Pokemon as a lead. And over here, this isn't really much a move set, but the other items you, or the other moves you can use. You have knock off to remove an item, do bonus damage. Body slam has that, like if your opponent is using Manimize, Manimize, if your opponent is using Minimize, they can get that chance to, you know, hit them t for twice the power with that stab, getting extra damage, and Body Slam can be good against an Evasion user. U-turn, you know, you can just kind of really fake out, scout some damage, head back in and figure out what's going on, and I like the move Snatch. Not a lot of Pokemon get to Snatch Weaves, but when they do, they get to take the status move and then use it for themselves. So I think that's a really good move. I don't like a lot of the Pokemon that have it are really in this kind of realm that you know they have a good typing, they have a decent amount of speed, but they don't have the durability that if they snatched a stockpile, if they snatched a swords dance, they'd be able to make a good use of it. But in the end, it's still something you can pack, you know, if they open up with something that's obviously going to go for a speed boost, you could take that speed boost, and now you might actually be a severe threat. So that's where the risk reward comes in. You can't really use it defensively, but if you use it properly offensively, it can be very well. Which is why I think Persian also has some really good doubles potential. Now, I haven't really found the best combo for Persian, but I do encourage that, you know, look into Persian if you really think it's an awesome Pokemon and you really want to use it more. Try to figure out what it can do with doubles. It does have a very, very in-depth move pool that has a lot of status, you know, it gets assist, it gets... Um, Amnesia, it has Captivate, it has like a lot of weird things that you can use. Snatch is one of the bigger ones, and on top of it, you know, it has Foul Play. You can just kind of really scroll through this and see it has a very, very wide variety of uh, things to use. Like, here's where all the weird ones are going to get, you know, you have Charm to lower your opponent's attack if you really want to play like that. Captivate for lowering the special attack if it's an opposite of gender. And, like, it's just one of those things where it has a lot of weird pieces, and I feel if you could find the right combo with it, it might be very strong. You know, you have that fake-out support into Taunt, into Snatch, into something, and maybe even a little more. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's how you use Persian.